Hi, my name is Mike. I'm part of the solutions consulting team here at Zscaler. And today we want to talk about why VPNs are bad and why the Zscaler way is better. That's a bold opening statement, VPNs are bad. Why are VPNs bad? Because a VPN has one job, get that user back to a data center, put them on the network so that it can access their applications. We don't seem to have a problem. Well, we do because that user experience is terrible. It's awful. We've introduced lateral movement into our estate because if you put a person onto a network, they can find all of these apps. So if this device is compromised, a hacker can go and take out app one, app two, the HR app, the G drive. It can all just disappear really, really quickly. This VPN, it has a publicly exposed IP address. If you can see it, you can attack it. And also, last but not least, we either split tunnel the VPN here at the device so that the user can go straight to the internet and we lose visibility of what they're doing on the internet, or we drag all of that traffic back to the data center, through the firewall and onto the internet. Again, I use the user experience is terrible. Okay, so let's now discuss the, the Zscaler way of doing this with our private access solution. So we need to draw in the Zero Trust Exchange. And we need to get traffic to the Zero Trust Exchange. So we deploy client connector on our laptops and we deploy app connectors in our data centers. Okay, so that user device now sends traffic to the Zero Trust Exchange. We come out over here and we check their identity. So who are they? Where are they? What are they trying to access? Are they allowed to access this? We can also do really cool things now on the endpoint. So we can check the device posture. So has it got a domain join certificate? Is its antivirus up to date? Has it got something on there that we know belongs to that user? And that's really cool. And it's really important because we want to make sure it's that user is gaining access to those applications. Okay. So the app connector over here creates an outbound tunnel to Zscaler and that's on port 443. That's an outbound only collection connection. There is no visible IP address. Really, really important. So the user calls out for app1.nhs.uk. The app connector responds and we stitch that connection together inside the Zscaler cloud. We never ever put the user on the network and we don't put the application on the network. We're basically doing user to app segmentation. Okay. We want to make this really, really cool and we want to start to transform our services. Let's say we start to do a public cloud transformation journey. We deploy our app connector inside Azure. And on Friday night, we go, right, we're going to move our HR app from on-premise and we're gonna re-advertise it inside Azure. So on Monday, our HR worker comes in, calls out for the HR app. The app connect inside Azure responds and we stitch that connection together inside the Zscaler cloud. Again, not putting that user on the network, not exposing that application. So, what does that mean? No more Yaki VPN, gone. We can reduce our IPS services, gone. We can start to transform how our users connect to applications. We make that end user experience really, really positive, really, really simple. And all of this just by using the Zscaler solution. So benefits of Zscaler private access, improved end user experience, no exposed IP addresses, reduced lateral movement. If you can't see it, you can't attack it. Improve cybersecurity for your organization. I've been Mike, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to know more, reach out to either myself or to your account team. Thanks, bye.